What's up everyone, this is Ryan Eckert with Peak Endurance Solutions and today I'm going to be going over the barbell deadlift exercise. So let's get started. Um, first, I just want to briefly describe what the barbell deadlift is and why you would use it. Uh, so the barbell deadlift is a great traditional strength training exercise, a really great foundational strength exercise for any and all athletes to learn. Um, unless you have some kind of injury history or condition or, or certain um, issue going on musculoskeletally that prevents you from doing the deadlift, it's an exercise that pretty much all athletes should be doing because it is such a foundational movement pattern um, to any kind of athletic endeavor, whether you're an endurance athlete, a strength athlete, a team sports athlete, whatever it is, the deadlift is probably one of the most common and basic exercises that you'll start with. Um, and it's a great exercise for developing strength and endurance in the lower body, but also throughout the core as well. And the core is essentially anything that's between the knees and the, and the neck, essentially. It's all those, muscu all those muscles in, in the, the center of your body that help keep your spine in alignment and help keep um, your hips nice and stable while you're doing athletic movements. Um, and the deadlift is a particularly good exercise for helping to develop all of those muscles that um, assist an athlete keep a, a stable spine and, and uh, stable hips as they're doing athletic movements. Uh, we tend to work with endurance athletes a lot, so obviously the deadlift is a really great exercise for developing the lower body muscles, which are involved in um, swimming, cycling, running, most endurance type activities. Um, and it's just a really great foundational exercise that any endurance athlete should know. But it is a rather complex exercise and there's a lot of moving pieces to it that you want to make sure that you get right. So I'm going to go over next um, how you should set up the deadlift and then how you should execute the deadlift with proper form and technique. So starting from the ground up, we'll start with the setup, how you want to approach the barbell. So you'll see here I have a, a traditional Olympic style barbell with some plates loaded on each side. You can do the deadlift with dumbbells um, and there are other, other types of bars that you can use such as a, a hex bar which is kind of a a bar that wraps around your legs that you kind of step into um, and it changes the dynamics of the deadlift a little bit but for the purpose of this video most people have access to a barbell either in their um, apartment gym or, or community gym um, and pretty much any standard uh, commercial gym that you go to is going to have a traditional barbell so I'm going to go over how to do a deadlift with a traditional barbell. Now when you approach it you want to have a setup with your feet that are about hip width apart Shoulder width apart is probably a little bit too narrow, so you're gonna notice here um, that my feet are set up about hip width apart, right? So roughly hip width apart with the, with the feet. Um, so that's how you wanna set up the deadlift. And the nice thing about these traditional Olympic style barbells is, th is that they have these smooth portions in between all the rough sections of the of the barbell. The rough section is called the knurling of the barbell and then there's this smoother section. I traditionally like to line myself up so that my shins are kind of right at the edge of the smooth part of the barbell. Okay, and that's kind of how I know that I'm about hip width apart with my stance, but in general you want the stance to be about hip width apart. And then I'm gonna fast forward on this video a little bit, show you how, where I set up with my hands. Okay, so I'm kind of getting my feet set. And then I'm rolling into the bottom position of the deadlift right here, so I'm gonna pause it. So you'll notice feet still hip width apart, right? My knees are tracking uh, right over my feet, so they're not deviating too far to the outside or too far to the inside. Um, and then I'm setting up with my hands a little bit wider than the knees, okay? So this is obviously so that you allow clearance for your arm when you are lowering the barbell and at the beginning of the deadlift position. Um, so you have room for your arms to clear your knees, right? If I were to grab the barbell um, on the smooth portion, then my knees are gonna run into my, to the back of my arms at the bottom of the deadlift and it'll be more difficult to do it and you won't do it with the right form and technique. So you wanna grab it with a width, uh, with a grip width that's a little bit wider than shoulder width. So you'll notice here, um, my hands are just that little bit wider than shoulder width. Okay. All right, and then once you have this proper setup, you wanna sink the hips down, and I'll show you a view from the side as well so you can see this a little bit better, but you're dropping the hips down so that you're loading your lower body, 
right? And you're flattening out your back. So it's a little bit harder to see from this angle, but I'm lowering my hips down, loading my lower body, and then flattening out my back. And throughout the deadlift, your head always kind of stays in this nice neutral position with your head in line with the rest of your spine. You don't want to be like arching your neck upwards and looking up towards the ceiling, and you don't want to be tucking your head down and looking at the ground right in between your feet. You just want to keep a nice neutral head position, and that's pretty much uh, the truth for most basic resistance training exercise. Most exercises in general, actually, you just kind of keep the head in a nice neutral position. You're not doing anything weird or crazy with it. And then as I get going with the deadlift, I'm pulling up from the ground, obviously trying to keep my core engaged, keeping my back flat. But you'll notice that my legs, my lower body and my upper body are moving at the same time when I do the deadlift. Okay, so I'm not pulling it up with just my back. Um, and I'm not straightening my legs right away and then using my back to lift it up. I'm using my lower body and my back to lift. And you're never really using your back to lift um, during the deadlift. The, the deadlift is a hip extension motion. So in, as I come up, I'm extending my hips. And in order to do that, you're using a bunch of different muscle groups. The, the back is one of them, but it's primarily with the legs. Um, so the glutes and the hamstrings are the, are the two primary movers during the deadlift that allow you to extend the hips, okay? But you'll notice my feet never move, maintaining that hip width distance stance, my hands aren't moving, and I'm using my, my lower body to help lift the, the barbell up off the ground. So I'll go ahead and play it um, in full speed back from the beginning so you can see it. Okay, so I'm getting in my setup now, hip width distance stance, arms wider than the knees, okay? using my lower body and my upper body at the same time. They're both moving together to lift the barbell up off the ground. Okay, all the while maintaining a nice neutral head position. Okay, now I'll show you another view from the side so you can see what's going on with um, the angle of my back and my legs. So I'll play it in slow motion first. You can see how I set up. So from the bottom, getting my, my setup. And now notice, see, this is where I lower my, my hips down into the bottom of the deadlift. Okay, and so this is where it depends on the individual how someone looks at the bottom of a deadlift. It depends on like leg length versus torso length. The bottom position of a deadlift isn't gonna look identical for every single person just because each person's anthropometrics are a little bit different. Um, but in general, you wanna lower the hips as much as you can into the movement so that your hips, or that, sorry, your, uh, your chest is directly over the barbell, right? So right here, my chest is right over that barbell, okay? Um, so kind of the lower portion of my chest is right over the, the center of that barbell. And that's where you want your mass to be. You don't want your chest to be um, way off to the front of the barbell. So I don't want my chest to be way over here and I don't want my chest to be way back here. But again, it's gonna look slightly different depending on the individual. Um, but in general, as long as you have that chest somewhat over the barbell at the bottom, okay? Um, and your back is flat, you're engaging your back and you're keeping your shoulder blades pinched together, you're engaging all the muscles in your back to maintain a nice neutral spine position and your hips are lowered as much as they can go. Um, that should be a pretty decent starting position for the deadlift. Okay, so you'll notice here as I start to begin the movement that my lower body and upper body move at the same time, right? I'm not necessarily like straightening out my legs right away and then using my back to pull it up. I'm using my lower body and my upper body muscles to stand up tall at the top, okay? So as I'm pulling it up, I stand up nice and tall. I fully extend my hips. I lower it back down with good technique, letting the, the barbell slide down along my legs, okay? Until it comes back down to the ground, okay? And the bottom position of the deadlift is traditionally with the barbell at about mid shin height. Um, so for, if you don't have larger weight plates on the barbell, you really only have to go down to about middle of the, of the shins, uh, about mid shin height. And that's traditionally the bottom portion of the deadlift. You don't have to bring the barbell all the way down to the ground if it's completely unloaded. Okay, so go ahead and play this in, in full speed so you can see it. Okay, so good setup, nice neutral back position, neutral head position, pulling with my lower body and my upper body at the same time. 
Okay, and then I'm lowering it with good technique as well, right? I'm not being lazy about it and just rounding my back and lowering it back down to the ground. Maintaining a nice neutral head, uh, back position by keeping my back engaged, keeping my core engaged. Okay, and the barbell is essentially always riding along the front of your legs. Okay, it's never moving out away from your body. Okay, so you're gonna notice that my chest stays over the barbell almost the entire time. So that's kind of how you know that you have roughly the right um, upper body and lower body positioning and setup is if your chest is staying over the barbell the whole time. So your chest is never too far out in front of it, it's never too far behind it. Okay, so that's kind of what good technique looks like from the side. Okay, and that's the deadlift. So you saw um, the deadlift technique from the front as well as from the side. Um, key things to remember with the deadlift, with the setup, our hip width distance stance, you're grabbing the barbell just outside of the, of the knees so that there's clearance for the arms at the top and the bottom of the deadlift. You're keeping the core engaged throughout the movement, maintaining a nice neutral spine, neutral head position. And then the big key here is you're pulling with the lower body and the upper body at the same time. You're never just using the legs and you're never just using the back, more importantly, to lift the barbell up, okay? So the barbell, although it's a little complex, as long as you get some of those basics down, um, it can be a really, really great movement to, to develop total body strength, particularly strength in the lower body and throughout the core and the upper back. Um, but it kind of hits a lot of the major muscle groups in the body, so it's a really, really great foundational movement to develop strength or endurance um, throughout the, the muscles of the body. Okay, so if you have any questions on this, feel free to drop some comments down um, in the comment section below, or you can always shoot us an email at peakendurancesolutions at outlook.com. Um, good luck with this exercise, and I hope you find it uh, useful and beneficial in your training.